Joseph, you're welcome to the coffee pod. My name is Shishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. All right, guys, so this one is another pretty funny one that I saw. Make sure you guys go check out the coffee pod official on Instagram, and you can see more posts like this. This specific post is actually coming from Spiritual Word. Let's check it out. So it starts out with this caption that reads, this the goofy shit I gotta deal with. Post goes on to say, look at the woman, laugh out loud, this really happened to me. Here's the text and here's the picture. Hashtag Aliyah. All right, so next here we have a text conversation. So he just received a text on his phone and it reads, I saw your story. You posted some chick on turntables with a bunch of hearts. With the heart emoji. LOL in all capital letters. She goes on to say, sorry, but not me, Habibi. I'm not saying I'm a bat or trying to be ignorant, but I know what I want and I know what I'm looking for. I actually have exactly a clear view of what I'm looking for. So she's obviously mad about the photo that he posted of the chick on the turntables, right? And she goes on to say, and honestly, don't even go on people's stories or knock or anything like that, but I actually was interested in you, so I looked. He responds to her and says, that was Aaliyah who died. LOL. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. He goes on to say, you wild, but okay. The singer, Aaliyah, but go ahead. Happy New Year's. Okay, so this was recent. And here's the photo of Aaliyah. Yeah, jealous woman. Here's the follow-up replies. So I guess she, um, I guess he actually, he actually sent her a Wikipedia <laughs> bio proving that it's Aaliyah and she died. For those of you who don't know who that is, I'm sure there are some people. Aaliyah was an American singer and actress. She's been credited for helping um, refine contemporary R&B, pop, and hip-hop, earning her nickname the Princess of R&B. She had a tragic death in 2001. Anyway, so the chick responded back to the Wikipedia info and says, my bad, laugh out loud with the laughing emoji. She's like, oh shit. But you were chilling with someone. I saw you had a little date. What? <laughs> Bro, cut her off. Cut her off, man. This chick definitely doesn't drink coffee. I don't like coffee. It's a vassal constrictor. As always, the internet did respond. A few people had a lot to say about this crazy situation. First comment here comes from a gentleman. He says the audacity to switch the subject about now on a little date. LOL, 17K likes on that comment. He responded, the actual guy said facts, which was a crazy lie. She probably just didn't want to look stupid. Another guy here says, she too young for you, dog, with the laughing emoji. And he says, she's 38, bro. I fell out, no excuses, damn. Um, I was about to get on him being like, you know, policing men to only date women in their 30s. Another woman here added to the conversation says she was 38 and couldn't recognize a picture of Aaliyah. That's so embarrassing. Next comment here from another gentleman says, no lie, women are good for this. And then when they are wrong, want to change the subject. Oh, I know. Women. <laughs> Another person added to that and said, instead of sincerely apologizing, they can't do that, bro. That takes accountability. Next a woman says she's not black. There's no way a 38 year old black woman wouldn't recognize Aaliyah. 32 likes. Someone else here added and said, for one, it was hard to even understand what the F she is even talking about. Yeah, she had a lot of mistakes in those text messages. Another guy here says, I don't even want to talk to somebody who don't know who Aaliyah is. How are we going to sing Rock the Boat? 204 likes. Next, another woman says she called him Habibi, so perhaps she's not from the US. Either way, he should run away because she's looking for stuff. Yeah, that's a bad sign, man. You're looking for shit, you will find shit. Another chick here added to the thread and said, same thing I thought, it's clear she's not American. Another woman added and brought some clarity and said, Habibi means beloved in Arabic, LOL. And somebody here says, the Habibi may have saved her. She clearly may not have been brought up on Aaliyah. Next comment, dating these days really be the cut off Olympics. Wild story and situation, guys. Of course, I want to know what you think. So make sure you leave your comments down below. What would you have done in this situation? Would you have excused her for lack of ignorance? I think what um, one of the women said in the comment section of her like snooping around, that's an obvious red flag. As always, I appreciate you for checking out another episode of The Coffee Pot. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.